Mm, damn, I missed sun. Anyhow, ISDT has a new charger. It's called D608PD and let me show you what goes where. That's the teeny tiny ISDT 608PD charger. Three buttons to set everything you have to set on the charger. Over here the charging port and the balancing port. And over here we get the power supply as the standard XT60 plug and the USB-C. And believe that, we are gonna talk about the USB-C in a moment, because this thing can be powered from everything up to 30 volts. Let me just plug in the 4S battery and let's take a look at the basic interface. And the interface itself is super simple. Button to the right cycles through the available screen, as well as button to the left. Short press on the middle buttons allows you to choose one of the charging presets. I will be using the preset for the LiPo 4S half an amp because this is a small battery and one more time pressing the button starts the charging. But that's not all. Because the charger has basically only three buttons and cycling through all the options with only three buttons can be irritating. Look how many steps you have to take only to change the number of cells you want to charge. You have to hold the middle button for a long and only then you have the access to the option to change charging current, to change the cutoff voltage, number of cells or the type of the battery. What you can do instead, you can create your own charger profiles. While being on the screen, you can cycle between different charging profiles and the charger supports up to five charging profiles and modify each of those separately. Let's say I want to modify the charging profile 3 to charge my LiPo batteries but with the current up to 1 amp. And when I long press the middle button, it saves the profile and it's ready to use. And then I just select the correct charging profile, start the charge. Do not have to fiddle with all the settings at all. But there is more. In the instruction manual, you will find the QR code for the application for your smartphone that allows you to manage all the functions of this teeny tiny charger from your device and it looks like this you have access to all the settings all the statuses all the profiles and all the actions you can make with those three teeny tiny buttons but on a slightly bigger and more convenient screen of your smartphone. You do have to admit that if you are charging something special with some specific charging settings, this is much more convenient than using the buttons. However, for the everyday usage, especially most probably during traveling, because look how small and tiny and light this charger is, you still will be rather using the charging profiles instead. And now let's talk about the ISDT 60 PD and the USB-C port over here in the context of those. If you own a relatively modern smartphone, you most probably also own a fast charger, a turbocharger, no matter how the manufacturer of the smartphone calls this technology. This small charger has the output power of more than 68 watts. Why cannot I power my traveling LiPo charger like this one from the charger I already own? I do not want to carry a big and bulky power supply and power this thing from the LiPos when I have a high output power charger that I just use every day to charge this thing. You can finally do it because this thing can be powered from the USB-C. However, over there, it's limiting the charging output only, only up to 65 watts. And of course you will need a USB-C cable that can transfer up to 65 watts of power. Cheap cable might not be enough, but I have my charger plugged in, I have my USB-C cable, I just plug this thing in and after a short information that the input power max 68 watts, the charger works like any other charger, only powered from the USB-C. That's the ISDT 608 PD. Man, this name bites my tongue. Now, the most important question is, 
is it worth it? Is it a good charger and, well, should you get one? Oh, why don't you do me a favor and subscribe to the... Oh, why don't you do me a favor and subscribe to the FPV University newsletter. Once a month, the set of news from the RC and FPV hobby directly in your inbox. First of all, let's be honest, this is a travel charger. If you are looking for something to use on your workbench to charge a lot of lipos, the 608 PD most probably is not for you. The biggest advantage of this charger comes from the fact that it's so light and can be powered from the USB-C input. Thanks to this, when you are traveling, you just do not need another source of power for your regular charger. You can just use the charger that you use with your phone. And it works perfectly. Of course, as long as you remember that the USB-C has the power output limit. So no, you will not charge a lot of batteries very fast, but you can charge them and travel light. And that's most probably is the biggest selling point of this charger. Not a lot of inputs, not a lot of outputs, not a lot of features, just the fact that it takes so little space when you are traveling. Of course, there are some issues. The issue number one, well, not really issue, as long as you remember what is a target for this charger, that, well, it's not very fast when charging big batteries. The second issue is that the user interface, the hardware user interface, not the smartphone app that you can use with the Bluetooth to drive anything on this charger, is not the simplest one ever. Changing even the simplest thing on your charger, like the current, can be a little complicated. This means that the charger is rather designed to use the presets that you can set for whatever kinds of the battery you are using or, after all, with the smartphone app. One of the biggest privileges of the reviewers is what the reviewer does after the video is recorded and published. We have two options. Either we can sell it or give it away or use the item for ourselves. In this case, I'm keeping the ISDT608PD. I love small factor. When I'm traveling, I don't want to take the big and heavy charging station I usually use. And the fact that I can just use the smartphone charger to power the LiPo charger is just a grand selling point for me. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, happy flying. Oh, I missed sun so much.